right. Um, what's up? Let's get some news going really quick. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a heads up that Beyond Good and Evil is really cheap this weekend. I believe it's this weekend. Yeah, until Tuesday, April the 6th. You can go to goodoldgames.com, uh, G-O-G.com, I believe it is. Is it? Anyway, Beyond Good and Evil is six ninety nine. If you've never played Beyond Good and Evil, um, picture Zelda, add a lot more character, a lot more humor, a lot more uh, spoken dialogue. It's almost like playing Zelda as if it were a movie in, in the future on another planet and you're a chick who has a camera instead of uh, a little dude with a sword and a funny hat. It's, it's almost way too similar to Zelda. I think I enjoyed it more than Zelda uh, in a lot of ways. And then I enjoyed Zelda more in a lot of ways as well. So definitely one of the best adventure games ever created for the PC. Uh, very uh, underrated game. Check it out. Uh, what else is there? They've got uh, Fallout's 50% off. You can get Fallout for two ninety nine. If you've never played the original Fallout, probably better than uh, Fallout 3. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a few other ones. Gothic 2 is on there for sale for $4.99. Um, so, yeah, go check out some old games. Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I freaking love that game. Sort of similar to King's Bounty. It's like the uh, where King's Bounty came from, you know, if you played the new King's Bounty game. If not, you should definitely check out Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I think I'll be picking it up for $6.99 so I can play it on my Pentium M right here. All right, um, now you guys have uh, given me some suggestions for games I should be playing on this Pentium M 1.73 gigahertz machine with 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. So far, I've been looking over them. Akuma suggested System Shock 2. Hell yes. It's a really good idea. I'm not sure if that game works very well under Windows XP. It's what I'm running here, so I'll have to... Do some head scratching and figure. I'm sure there's a patch or something somewhere. You also recommended Snatcher and Silent Hill 1. You must be a creepy person. Those are all very creepy games. And I'm going to have to get some emulators to play those. But I might check out Snatcher because I never got around to playing that. I'm talking fast because i got to go somewhere. And my foot's on fire. I don't know. Um, thanks for all the comments, guys. We've got three pages worth of comments and suggestions here. Um, da -da 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 -da. And then, uh, yeah, of course, Pample Mouse said, I want to be the guy. He puts Deus Ex and Fallout 1 and 2, System Shock 2, Half-Life, and the old King's Bounty games, which are the heroes of my magic games. Yes! Yes, those are all really good suggestions. Uh, <laughs> SNES emulator with Super Contra or something. Yeah, SNES. If I'm going to get an SNES emulator, I'll probably play, like, um, I don't know, Mario Brothers. God, I love Mario Brothers. It's fun. Um, no, I can't play Bioshock. Um Let's see who else has got some good suggestions here. Um, anybody suggesting any DOS games? I do like DOS games. I believe somebody did. I can't find it right now. Mountain Blade. Everyone keeps saying Mount and Blade. Hmm. I haven't played this game, but maybe I'll check it out. I'm not really into it. And a lot of people have been uh, saying you should be checking out Diablo and, and, and some of the old Blizzard games like Warcraft. And I never got into the old uh, Blizzard games like Diablo and, and Warcraft. I don't know. I just got really tired of clicking. I mean, I feel like a lot of the old games with Blizzard, it was just like sit there and left click, left click, left click, left click, right click, contextual menu, left click, left click, left click. And it's like, I don't know. I, I like games where I guess at that point in time in my life, I was Daggerfall. I could be playing Daggerfall. Yeah, but I'll never get any work done. I'll never pay my rent. But I don't care about paying rent. I just care about playing video games. Yeah. Black metal. Um, ooh, Alien vs. Predator. That's a good idea. I wonder if I can get part two to work. It says, Bazaar. Um, game Boy Advance Emulator. Yeah, emulators, emulators. Call of Duty 1 is a really good game. Medal of Honor, the first one. Anybody still play that online? God, I used to shoot people in the face like crazy. Like crazy for that game. All right, let's go to page three of the comments here. See if anybody else has anything. Uh, Wooly4 says, uh, Doom, everybody keeps saying Fallout 1 and 2. Unreal. You know, I never played Unreal. I mean, I played it for like five minutes, but I, I, I started in the Unreal universe with Unreal Tournament, the first the, the first one. I love that game. Blood's a good idea. And Baldur's Gate. Never finished that. I, I ended up... Going from Baldur's Gate to what was that other one? Not the not Neverwinter Nights, but the other Snow Icewind Dale. I loved Icewind Dale, but uh, you know I never finished Baldur's Gate. Hmm, it's a good idea. Pretty good list we have here. Pretty darn good list. And someone says, "Are you going back to Tiger Direct?" 
Why do you guys keep asking if I'm going back to Tiger Direct? Listen, if Tiger Direct wants to send me bags of money and let me sit here in my apartment in New York City and do something meaningful with that money, by all means, I'm never going back to Miami. I'm so happy that I'm not in Miami, the place where all the music is made with five redundant notes on a keyboard and words like shoddy and mama. Hey, mama. Hey, shoddy. What's happening? Stuff like that is yelled in the street. I know it happens everywhere, but it's like, that's just, I can't live in Miami. God, it's hot. And, and, and I'm, I'm like, you know, black metal northerner type. I need my snow and frigid coldness. I'm going to drink this any second now. Not yet. <laughs> the suspense! Okay. Uh, Darjeeling. Motherfreaker. Put that in your beverage cup and drink it.